Hey, this is Zach from Gamefront, here with a walkthrough for Dungeon Siege 3. This video will cover the main story quest, Majority Rules. This is part one. Free the Krug! Free the Krug! Rejoice! The Meisters have concluded... Ah, half a minute there. You came from the Chapter House, did you not? Tell me, is it true? Has the Legion returned? Only a few of us, but yes, we've reclaimed the old Chapter House. Ha! Let them laugh at me now! Meister Wolf, with his silly dreams of radiant children and prophecies of the Legion's return! You had a dream of a golden-haired child? A boy? Precisely so. Not a fortnight past. I dreamt that I saw a golden-haired boy standing at my bedside. He bade me get up and follow him. You saw the Radiant Youth? Are you descended from the Legion? Wish I were, but no. My father was a merchant, and his father as well. If I'd had any Legion blood, I dare say I'd have been killed with the rest of them, thirty years back. Tell me the rest of your dream. The boy led me through the city square, then up to the chapter house gate. Only, it wasn't dark and abandoned, as it's been for so long. 
It was clean and bright. Lion banners snapping in the breeze. Gates open wide as if expecting the Legion's return. Then I awoke, and there I was, standing in my underclothes in the middle of the street, gawking at the ruins of the chapter house. The child's idea of a joke, I dare say. Still, I knew it was more than a dream. Are any Legionnaires still living in Stonebridge? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid not. Jane and her mobs were quite thorough. That whole affair was a mark of shame upon our city. Be assured that I took no part in that travesty, nor did my father or anyone else who bears the name Wolf. I'm here to address the Meisters. We want to propose an alliance against Jane Cassinder. An alliance? That'll be tricky business. I can force them to give you a hearing, at least. I'll warn you, though, they're scared. Scared of Jane Cassinda and her armies. Scared that we'll lose our Republic if she takes the city by force. And scared of other things, too. The Meisters are scared of something else. Something inside the city? No, forget I spoke of it. The other Meisters will know you've been talking to Mad Old Wolf with his secrets and conspiracies, and that won't win you any friends on the Council. I'm ready to address the Meisters. Capital! I shall go on ahead and announce you. We'll await you inside. Running a jail a bit complicated for an automaton? I apologize, but I was not designed to answer questions of a remedial nature. I repeat, do you have business with the incarcerated? Not at the moment. I should be going. Wasting the time of Stonebridge constables is not presently a jailable offense. But this policy is subject to change without prior notice. Good day. Gentlemen and goblins, order! Council recognizes the envoy from the 10th Legion. Meister Wolf tells us that you propose an alliance. A grave matter indeed. Perhaps our colleague forgot to emphasize how deeply we value our neutrality. A war with Jane Cassinder would risk the very life of our Republic. What do we gain by siding with the Legion? The Royal Army is destroyed. It's only a matter of time before Jane Cassinder turns against you. Let us help protect your city. A fair point. We are reasonable fellows, and we know that Jane Cassinder looks upon Stonebridge with covetous eyes. Nonetheless, you can understand why some in the city might fear the Legion's return. Countless Legionnaires were murdered in our streets. People might think that you've come to seek re We won't punish a whole city for the actions of a few. If you did nothing wrong, you have nothing to fear. Don't you want to find the killers? Why not let the Legion help? Um, how can I put this? Your words don't precisely put our fears to rest. Nonsense! The Legion is no threat! There's far more dangerous things in this city, if you would only open your eyes! Ah, our colleague again speaks of the dapper old gent, no doubt. Indeed, sir, I do. 
You think that the trouble in the foundry is not the work of the gent? Wolf, you didn't say anything about the foundry before. Bad business. The foundry supplies power to all of Stonebridge, but now it's gone silent, and no one knows why. Uh, Maester Wolf, let us not turn aside from the matter at hand. We owe the Legion our vote. No, wait. That hardly seems fair. Force a vote now, and it will assuredly go against the Legion. I propose a recess. Let us each speak privately to the Legionnaires, so that we can reach an informed and impartial judgment. Sounds like a reasonable idea. We agree. Indeed, well spoken, Meister Mudgutter. Any objections? None? Council declares a recess. We shall reconvene after the Legion Envoy has spoken to each of my esteemed colleagues, and all are prepared to render a judgment. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.